to show you how to make your own Scratch account and sign in. You want to do this if it's the first time you're using Scratch or if you don't remember how to log in to any old accounts you might have. First you go here to join Scratch. Then you will put in your new username, it says don't use your real name. Then you'll create a password. It's too easy to guess. Try something else. OK. I would also, at this point, take that and email it to yourself because a lot of people forget their password even though they think they will never forget their password. That's a pro tip. Yes, I always have Google save my passwords. It's safe, they're encrypted, and it will remember it for you as well. So, USA, you can do this. I'm an old person. I was born in 1910. You can put in whatever information you want. You can specify your gender. Email. When it puts in an email, you put in your school email. You can decide if you would like to receive emails from Scratch Team about project ideas, events, and more. I already get those, so I'm fine. Create your account. And it's done. And then you can get started. You should confirm your email or else you will not be able to share anything. So you click that, it will go to your email, and then Scratch will have sent you an email. Yes, so check it your email address and then go to that and you'll say confirm and then you're ready to go. Remember you can't share any of your projects and our projects require sharing unless you've confirmed your email. That's it. That's all you need to know to start uh, with Scratch. From there, it takes you right to this screen, and if you go to Create, then you can start coding. That's it.